day everyone welcome to tarish tv please kindly subscribe to this channel also hit the bell icon so you can get notifications thank you it's governor obaseki losing the first battle in his bid to take the control of the soul of a state for another four years then there is an indication that the governor may pitch his stand with another party ahead of the state goodbye election or progressive congress apc screening committee led by jonathan ayuba had disqualified the governor on friday june 12 in what confirmed his fear amid field with the national chairman of the party the People Demo Democratic Party, PDP, in a reaction declares that its readiness to receive the governor should he decide to defect from the ruling APC ahead of the oncoming election scheduled for September. Kola Ologmodiyon, the national spokesperson of the party, gave the Edu governor the hope but in what suggested the contrary way, Tony Azigbimi, the chairman of PDP in Edo State, ruled out the possibility. Speaking on the radio program, the on African News said the governor is not the member of the party and may not contest under it. He also explained that should the governor decide to defect to the opposition party, he may not be able to contest in the primaries unless the National Working Committee of PDP grants him a waiver. Obaseki, who is seeking re-election into the office, was disqualified at the screening process for the primaries on Friday, June 12. The embattled governor of Edo State has also released a brief statement via his official Twitter handle where he urged his supporters to remain calm and await further directive, just as he described his disqualification as unjust. This governor is never tired. He wants another option. He does not want to give up. Hear what people have to say. Why on earth do Nigerian politicians always think that political office is their birthright? Obaseki has ruled for four years. We should be talking of his accomplishments first before another four years. Well, this is James. Another person said PDP will not be gullible enough to feature someone with a certificate blemish as the governorship aspirant. This person said, let him carry his cross because such is the price of his disloyalty to those who trusted him and made him governor of the state. Well, we have different comments from different people, people with different opinions. Do drop out the comment section and let's see know what you have to say concerning Obaseki. Is it advisable for him to defect to PDP or you should take it with faith and leave APC? Thank you guys for listening and I will see you on the other news.